Hey, it's E Squared Photography here. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we're here to talk to you a little bit about what to wear to your family session. We're going to start with tips for her. So the moms, really, this is targeting or um, young girls, anybody like that. So the first thing we recommend with picking out outfits for an entire family is we, um, we're kind of selfish, but we would like to say pick the mom's outfit out first because she's the one that most likely wants the pictures and is booking the session. So pick that outfit out first and then go from there and picking other people's outfits out in your family. Up next, dresses are for the win. So dresses are really nice, especially long ones can give that twirl effect. Long dresses can also hide problem areas such as your legs if that's something that you're worried about in photos. And when picking out a dress, always look for a dress that's going to be flattering at your waistline, the smallest part of your body. Um, that will look really nice on camera. As far as flattering your figure even more than just a dress goes, heels are really nice in elongating your legs and making you look thinner. Also, if you are like most women, you're um, not, you do not like your arms in most of your pictures. So longer sleeves, three quarter length sleeves, short sleeves, covering up uh, with a Jacket can be really flattering and make your arms look even thinner. Um, I would avoid skinny straps and strapless dresses um, unless you feel like it looks really nice on you because in pictures, a lot of times, it can make your arms look bigger than they actually are. Stories can really make a statement. So whether it be a big, bold necklace or some earrings or possibly a hat or a scarf or maybe even a floral crown for your little girl. As far as hair and makeup go, about half of our clients usually go and get their hair and makeup done professionally, so then they feel really confident and comfortable in front of the camera. Uh, we do recommend doing that if you're interested because it really is, uh, makeup artists really do know how to make you look best on camera. Um, but if you'd rather do it yourself, that's an option as well. We did not have makeup artists in the filming of this video. No, not at all. <laughs> all right, tips for men, including these three men, Gus, Mason and Cal, who are nailing it. All right, as far as guys go and getting their pictures done, some of the things that really flatter them are dress shoes for one, so brown or black, nice dress shoes. Long pants are always extremely flattering, along with a dress shirt that is a slimmer fit or a blazer. It's always way more flattering on a guy. As far as picking out the colors for the guys, solid colors are always really nice, nothing that's too busy. Um, really soft pastel -y colors can look really awesome on camera, um, but just stay away from those patterns. As far as accessories and layering for guys, layering is always extremely flattering too, whether it be adding a jacket or a vest or something like that to the image. Um, also accessories for guys, belts are really nice and watches can also add a big statement. So once you've picked out the mom's outfit, then you can start picking out the other outfits. And as far as colors goes for those, really soft pastel colors, jewel tone colors can look really good, especially in the fall. Um, those are always really nice in um, pictures. As far as coordinating your outfits together, this is always the question we get the most. Uh, one thing to stick away, stay away from would be being too matchy-matchy. You can have a couple patterns. We don't mean that you have to stay completely away from patterns. There can still be a couple patterns involved in the image, um, but having the colors and the tones and things like that match as best as possible. So sticking with two to three colors as your color combinations and coordinating your outfits. And then the final tip that we can give, probably the most important tip, is make sure you have the entire family try on your outfit combination at least one week in advance in case you need to switch something up or in case you get it on 10 minutes before the session and you realize that somebody needs to have their dress ironed or pants ironed. Um, just make sure you're doing that uh, in advance before your session, like a week or so before your session. So we hope this was helpful and we hope that it helps prepare you for your family session with us. We can't wait to work with you.